three congress circles are arranged as shown, what is the minimum length of rope that will go around the three circles? Okay, it's a very nice question. So the first thing I have to do is to join, locate the centers of these circles and also locate the radius. So let me add some auxiliary lines. Okay, these are my auxiliary line. So you can see that this is the radius of this circle. You know, remember they are congruent circles, so they have common radius. So and also these R and these also these are this length or these are the centers of this circle so these also are because from here to here is the same as this, this so and as you can see we'll form an equilateral triangle so each of this interior angle is 60 degrees And see, since this is the height, which is a perpendicular bisector, so this is 30 degrees. So this is angle height. So we can use the knowledge of 30, 60, 90 triangle to get the length, maybe if you call this A, B. So we can get the length A, B using 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem. So we state that, let me just write it down here, that if you have a right angle triangle that interior angles are 30, 60, and 90, that if the side opposite 30 degrees X, the one opposite 60 will be X times root three, and the one opposite 90 degrees is 2x. So with that knowledge, since this length is 2r, and this is r, therefore ab will be r root 3. So ab is r root 3. So from this, they gave us this length to be root 3 meaning that r plus r root 3 plus r is equal to root 3 saying that r plus r root 3 plus r is equal to root 3 yes as you can see this total length here is the same as this so this r r root 3 r So this is 2r plus r root 3 is equal to root 3. So as you can see, we are looking for, we want to get the radius because we are not giving the radius, we are giving the, the total length here. So this is, if you factor r, so we are left with 2 plus root 3 is equal to root 3. So therefore, r is now root 3 over 2 plus root 3 and if you rationalize multiplying numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so which is root 3 times 2 minus root 3 over you know it should be over 1 because if you multiply this by this difference of 2 squares so 4 minus 3 is 1 so our r is 2 root 3 minus 3 so that's our radius okay to get the minimal length we know that here is 2 r we want to get the length of this band so these are these are 2 2 r these 2 r Yes, because the length here is 2R, so it's a 
is the same as that. So we'll see that the length of the band, let's call it L, will be one, two, three. So three times two R, that's three times two R plus this curve, which is the arc this and that and looking at this is simple because we can easily see that it's 2 pi r yes because this length is here so if i map this one to this side it will be the same so finally if i take this to this so the the, the total length of the arc is now the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi uh, so if you notice we can factor 2r so we have 2r and we are left with 3 plus pi so looking at the option we are seeing pi plus 3 so let's substitute the value of r which is our r is 2 root 3 minus 3 so times 3 plus pi so this is equal to so 2 times that is 4 root 3 minus 6 times 3 plus pi so that is the total length of the band so which is option I think option A The answer is option A. So that is our answer, option A. So it's a very nice and tricky question. Thank you.